Good morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. I want to do another instalment in my book, The ABC. Now, let's have a quick recap. In the first chapter, we looked at A is for Apple. And if you remember, um, A stands for um, aim for fruit. P is prepare the soil. The next P is plant the trees. Okay, L stands for learn to prune and E is enjoy the fruit. Now we're going to be in chapter two and this is chapter B and this is B is for book. Now in this chapter we're going to learn that knowledge is a key to life. There's lots of keys to life um, but knowledge is one of them. <clears throat> so the second book that you will need to create is book number two called my treasury and my treasury is just a place where everything that you think and everything that you want to remember is written you might call it a journal but i call it my treasury it's the place where all the good stuff is kept <clears throat> so in the letter b the first letter stands for b become a student become a student. Now the concept of lifelong learning is something that is thought of as being a new concept. Yet I pity the person who has stopped learning. Wow. Every day is an opportunity for some new skills, some new ideas, some new experiences to have, some new skills to practice. It always thrills me to see senior citizens using text messaging and the internet. You know, that's an amazing thing. We're never too old to learn. And may it be never said of you that you cannot teach an old dog new tricks. Of course, it's not just your main subject that you need to master. Um, <clears throat> you need to be a student of life, a student of love, a student of recreation, how many of us value education, but how few of us have a small educational fund, just maybe £5 a week, £10 a week, whatever that might be, where we can buy some new books and learn new things. OK, so that's very important. And how many of us um, use our public libraries? Now, in England, we have public libraries. And you can go into the library and they will give you a special card. And with that card, you can, I think you can take out seven or eight books at a time and you can have them for a fortnight. Wow. You know, this is tremendous. Um, <coughs> it's not just money that you need. It's time that you need and determination. When I was a boy, I used to get up with my brother at 5 a.m. just to read our Bibles together. We were hungry for knowledge. Um, the great preacher C.H. Spurgeon built a very large library during his lifetime. And when he died, it was discovered that the large portion of his library was of such subjects as biology, history, English, geography, science, to name a few, as well as all Bible related material. From this we learn it's important to become a student. So may I suggest that um, as a result of this uh, episode that you go out and get yourself a library card and you go out and you start to avail yourself of all the literature that is available to you. You need to become a student. Now we'll look forward to catching up with you on the next episode. Have a great day and bye for now.